Good morning, it is day four, which means it is May the 4th, 2017. I am running a bit late today. And you can see here, I have my juices for the day. Uh, I have four bottles in here of three of my own homemade juice. I am running a little low and just to be safe, I did bring a store-bought brand just to make sure that I can get through the day uh, and I do have enough nutrition so that I don't get hungry. Every Thursday at work, we get free breakfast and usually that breakfast consists of uh, just carb heavy things such as bagels, muffins, but nothing I can eat. Now it is off to the office and I am going to start with the store bought brand this morning uh, just to get that out of the way and then I'll move on to my own homemade juices for the rest of the day. I'm not really trying to, oh man, this person's just gonna run right through the red light. Or, I'm sorry, the stop sign. I'm not trying to drive and vlog at the same time because I don't really want to get into an accident. But this stuff, this Suja or Uber Greens, this is gross. And I just have to down it and get over with it. Just got to work now. It is about 10 a.m. So like I said, running a little bit late. On the drive over here, I finished my juice. It is the Uber Greens by Suja. Would not recommend. This thing was pretty gross. I mean, it is very low in sugar, only six grams of sugar in this whole thing, but if it doesn't taste good, it's not even worth it. And what do we have here? But carbs upon carbs upon carbs. We have, I think these are called not bagels or better than bagels, plus some cream cheese. We have all kinds of snacks that we can take in the office. There is also croissants it looks like, uh, some kind of quiche. I also open up the fridge and there's just all kinds of different food in here. I mean, at least some of it's healthy. We have apples, we have an entire thing of fruit. We have some parfaits. So with that being said, there is so much temptation in the office that I just have to resist and go back to my juice. I just put my three bottles of juice in the fridge and that's gonna be my lunch and dinner uh, again i mean you can see it in the background right there uh, i just have to do my own thing stay on my diet and keep with it It is about 8 p.m. now, just getting home from work. Definitely feel quite hungry. I don't think I had enough protein today because I did not add any protein to my morning meal. Uh, I am completely out of vegetables and out of juice. I will have to be going to the grocery store tonight, which I'm not super happy about because it is so time consuming to do this whole juicing thing, but it's my own doing and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't back down from a challenge once I start it. I have to complete it and finish the challenge. Speaking of challenges, I think that's one thing that I want to continue doing in my life. And I know this has really nothing to do with the juice cleanse per se, but I think that you always need to be challenging yourself in life. Challenging yourself really forces you to grow as a person. I wanted to share this thing that I wrote a couple days ago. It has nothing to do with the vlog, but I was feeling like I just needed a new challenge in life. There are completely unexpected events that happen in life that make you question the direction you're going. Sometimes they reaffirm that you're on the correct path. Sometimes those events force you to change directions. And other times, those events require you to reinvent yourself. These events are good things because they ensure that you are constantly evaluating the direction you're going. They force you to grow, to become a stronger person, to become more sure of the person that you are today. Reinvention is a natural part of life and ensures that you're the best person that you can possibly be. 
I myself have had a few reinventions in my days, and they have all led me to growing as a person and becoming a better me. While it's a very difficult process and impossible decisions are made, it's ultimately for the better. Make the change, take the risk, never stop becoming a better you. I really think that you do need to challenge yourself all the time because when you become complacent, and becoming complacent scares me. It scares me a lot. Comfortable, complacent, I do not like these words and it's not a position that I ever want to find myself in. When you become comfortable or complacent, you stop growing. I do not want to find myself in that situation. Anyway, back to juicing. I am off to the grocery store now and I'll probably just do a time lapse of my juicing because it's getting a little bit repetitive. That's gonna be the end of day four, so enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> p.m. I spent two and a half hours making about four liters of juice. It's partially my own fault that it took so long. I overflowed the juice bucket. I also clogged up the drain and had to completely take apart the sink. However, I just look at these problems as small roadblocks. When I get to the other side, it's gonna feel that much better. I am off to sleep now. I will see you in the morning for day five. Good morning, today is Cinco de Mayo, which means it is day five. Once again, I am running a little bit late, so I'm gonna grab a quick breakfast. I'm gonna mix in some protein powder with the juice that I made last night, and then I have two liters of juice that I'm gonna be bringing to the office. Every single Friday at work, we always go out to lunch. However, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Don't get me wrong, it's not an easy thing to do, to miss lunch with the team. I mean, going out to lunch every Friday is what makes my job awesome. Going out to lunch with everyone from work really helps to build a strong team. But, you know, it's only for a month and I'll go back to lunch with everyone once I'm kind of back to my normal routine. So if I miss a couple lunches, it's not gonna be a big deal. Now off to work. What do we have here? Randy's Donuts. Oh my goodness, just two full boxes of donuts. This is why it is so difficult to stay on my diet at the office because we get things like this all the time. The hardest part about doing the juice cleanse is that it is Cinco de Mayo. We ordered Mexican food into the office, everyone is sitting in the conference room. I can hear them talking. I can smell the tacos and the burritos and I can't have any and I'm sitting here at my desk with my juice. I don't even want to go in there and eat with everyone because all it's gonna do is tempt me to break my cleanse and I just simply can't do that. So I'm gonna sit here with my juice and enjoy. This is totally not as satisfying as some tacos por favor, but I'll get over it. It is what it is. I chose this path only for a month. I'll be back to it soon. It is approximately 8 p.m. Just getting home from work now. Today was a juice only day. I was feeling a little bit hungry uh, in the afternoon sometime, but I just went into the fridge and got a snack of juice. 
my snack was juice. I went out after work with some of the guys and we went to the place next door uh, and had a glass of wine, which according to them, wine is grape juice. Today was quite a difficult day though because of it being Cinco de Mayo and also there being donuts in the office. However, I did not break any of my rules and like I said earlier, wine is considered grape juice. I don't see anything wrong with that. It is a Friday night, so I'm gonna take the night off, watch a little TV, relax it a little bit, maybe do some editing, and I will see you on day six. Tomorrow is going to be a special day. I think I'm going to do a large grocery store trip, so my vlog is gonna be centered around the ingredients I buy and how much it costs on a daily basis. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit that little button right down there and subscribe. And if you really want, you can go ahead and leave a comment or smash that thumbs up button right there. I can see it, smash it.